In high school football, we're entering the second week of the playoffs. 20 Acadiana area teams remain in the running for a state title, including Abbeville, the two seed in 3A. Reporter Megan Glover shows us the keys to the Wildcats' magical run. Abbeville football has been on a Cinderella run. After only having eight wins over the last four seasons, the Wildcats have 10 wins in 2021 alone. You know, we finally had a complete summer to put everything in, to do everything we wanted to do. We knew this team was talented. We knew the school always had talent. It all got to come together. We got to put together an entire season with what we wanted to do. Abbeville is the second seed in the Class 3A playoffs. The fairy tale season started in the summer when the Wildcats added a new strength and conditioning coach, Morgan Bro. The former North Vermilion and UL track athlete brought her expertise to help with their off-season training. It's an amazing feeling uh, being a part of a team that's been so successful for a season. How amazing the staff here is and each week is something new. Morgan is also an assistant running back coach. For Moy, who coached Morgan at North Vermilion, he knew she would provide the glass slipper. It's fun to see the maturity level rise. You know, it's fun to look back and say, you know, I remember when she was that eighth grader looking for some guidance. She always had talent. And now to have her by my side with this, it's something special and it's fun to enjoy. You know, I learned a lot from him back whenever he was my coach. And to be able to work side by side with him now and listen to him speak to the team the way he spoke to me is just, you know, I, I, I feel what the team gets to feel now because I was, a, I was where they were. Blake Sattler became Abbeville's all-time leading rusher this season. He credits Morgan's summer workouts with helping him average over 200 yards per game. I had a lot of goals, but I'm getting to them. Like last year, I never even had 150 yards. And this year, there's nothing to me. Like, so that's really a goal I, I, I already got for myself. Now the Wildcats look to add to their historic season with the win over Wasman this Friday. The, the main thing, the main reason I got into this business is to affect change. Not just in these kids, but we've seen the way we've lit this city up, and it's exciting and, and really, really want to win this game for the city of Abbeville. Reporting from Abbeville, Megan Glover, KTC Sports.